Hi everyone, in this video we're going to see how to test MOSFETs. So we're gonna see many types of MOSFETs, especially the SMT MOSFET or the surface mounted device MOSFETs. So let's get started. First, let's see the definition of the MOSFET. The MOSFET stands for Metal Oxide Semiconductor Field Effect Transistor. The voltage applied to the gate J terminal determines the electrical conductivity of the MOSFET. This ability to change conductivity with the amount of applied voltage can be used for switching or amplifying electronic signals. It is a three terminal device source, gates, and drain. So, as you can see here, basically, this is three types of MOSFET. This is here the 8 pin MOSFET, as you can see. Okay, here we have 8 pin MOSFETs, as you can see. Here also, this is an 8 pin MOSFET, but this one we called it a flat MOSFET. Okay, this is a flat MOSFET. So the MOSFET contain three pins for source, one pin for gates, and four pins for drain. So here, as you can see, we have two kinds of MOSFET. As you can see, we have here ASMD MOSFETs or surface mounted MOSFETs, and in the left, as you can see, we have THT MOSFET or True Hall Technology mounted MOSFETs. The working principle of how to test this MOSFET is the same. So here we're gonna see how to test MOSFET. So basically here we have a three terminal MOSFET, gate, drain and source. So a good MOSFET is a MOSFET that has a reading between, between drain and source. So when you put the multimeter to the buzzer option or the to the diode option and you check between drain and source you should get a reading if you get a continuity or a buzzer means the mosfet is bad so the only reading you should get in the mosfet is between drain and source the same working principle for the hp mosfets as you can see here we have three pins for source and four pins for drain. Basically, the first pin is marked with a dot, as you can see. So, three pins for source. Here we have the gate, and these other pins are for drain. So, now let's see some real MOSFETs in real motherboards. As you can see here, we have four MOSFETs that we're gonna check step by step. So, as you can see, we have here U2. U stands for a MOSFET or an IC in a motherboard. So as you can see here, we have the dot hand, this dot, this white dot means this is the pin number one, as you can see, two, three, and so on. Okay, basically here we have source, these three pins are source, as you can see. Here we have gate, and over here we have drain. Four pins are for drain. So now let's check this MOSFET using the same working principle. Let's check the source. These three pins should be connected together. As you can see here in the multimeter, we have a low resistance in the multimeter. Three pins are connected together. These three pins are source. These four pins also should be connected together. As you can see in the schematic, this is the drain. As you can see, we get a low resistance in the multimeter. Means the four pins are connected together as you can see here also the same working principle we have a dot here means this is the pin number one two three four and so on here we have the drain okay the same also for the third mosfet okay always the white dot means the pin number one so if we check between source and drain as you can see we get a reading here in the multimeter means this is a good MOSFET. This is basically NPN channel MOSFET. When you put the red probe in the source and the black probe in the drain and you get a reading, means you have NPN 
channel MOSFET and when we switch the probes as you can see we don't get anything in the multimeter so between cells and gate you should not get nothing in the multimeter also between gate and drain and drain nothing in the multimeter means the MOSFET is a good MOSFET you will get just a reading between source and drain in accordance with the type of the MOSFET if the MOSFET is MPE MOSFET when you put the red probe in the source and the black probe in the drain you will get a reading so let's check the third MOSFET as you can see here between source and drain we get a reading means this is another MPE channel MOSFET okay this is MP in channel MOSFET. Basically, this is a good MOSFET. Between gate and source, nothing in the multimeter. Gate and drain, nothing in the multimeter means this is a good MOSFET. Basically, a bad MOSFET is a MOSFET that gets a low resistance in the multimeter. Let's check these two MOSFETs also. Basically, here this is a 4P MOSFET or a 3P MOSFET. So here we have gates, as you can see, drain, here also we have drain, basically these two terminals are connected together, and here we have source. We gotta use the same working principle to check this MOSFET. So here, as you can see, this is drain. We have a low resistance in the multimeter, it means these two terminals are connected together. So let's check right now between source and drain. We get a reading. So let's check this MOSFET also using the same working principle. Always the two terminals in the middle are connected together. So between source and drain, we get a reading means this is a PMP channel MOSFET. Because if we switch the probes, nothing in the multimeter. So basically this is a good MOSFET. So remember a bad MOSFET is a MOSFET that gives a low resistance or a buzzer when you test it. Here basically this kind of MOSFETs we find it in the lab in the computer or old laptop motherboard. So here as you can see using the same working principle so the two terminals in the middle are the drain as you can see. We have a low resistance in the multimeter, means the two terminals are connected together. So, let's check between source and drain. We get a reading, means this MOSFET is a good MOSFET. Okay? So, let's switch the probes. We should not get anything in the multimeter, means this is a good MOSFET. So, let's check this MOSFET also. Here we have the gate, drain as you can see, and source. So let's check between source and drain. Here we have nothing in the multimeter. If we switch the probe, we get a reading means this is MP in channel MOSFET because we put the red probe in the source and the black probe in the drain. So let's check this MOSFET also basically this is a flat MOSFET, 8P flat MOSFETs. We find this kind of MOSFETs near to the processor. So let's check it using the same working principle. Here we have a dot means this is the pin number 1, 2, 3 and so on. This is the source. These three pins are connected together. Here we have the gate and over here we have drain. Four pins connected together. So let's check right now the drain. All pins as you can see are connected together. Here we have four pins connected together. As you can see in the multimeter we get a low resistance. So between source and drain we get a low resistance. So when we check between source and drain, we get a low resistance. Why? Because the processor is connected to the motherboard. If we remove the processor, we will get a high resistance. So it's not a short circuit. So let's remove the processor right now and check again.
that MOSFET. Now we remove the MOS the processor. Let's check right now between source and drain. As you can see, we get a high resistance. So this is a good MOSFET. It's not a shorted MOSFET. Also for this, we get a high resistance. But if we connect back the processor, we will get a low resistance. Means the resistance is for the processor, not for the MOSFET. So here we switch the props, we don't get anything. So let's put back the processor and then check the MOSFET. So now the, the processor is mounted or connected to motherboard. So let's check between source and drain. We have here a low resistance. This is not a short. This is basically the resistance for the CPU. So, as you can see, we have 0.23. This is a low resistance. But this resistance is for the CPU. So let's check it out, this MOSFET also. Basically here, this is a small MOSFET with three terminals. As you can see, using the, the same working principle, we're gonna check between source and drain. So the rule is you should get a reading between source and drain. If you get a low resistance or a buzzer, means the MOSFET is bad, exactly the same as the transistor. So let's check. Here, between source and drain, we get here, as you can see, a reading in the multimeter means this MOSFET is good. Between gate, drain, and gate and source, you should not get anything, as you can see. So let's check the second MOSFET. So here, between drain and source, we get a reading, as you can see, in the multimeter. If we swap the props, we will not get any tank as you can see here in the multimeter and of course between source and gates and drain and gates we will not get anything in the multimeter means these two mosfets are good mosfets